Hi everyone! Uh, I would like to do a little video to show you how to properly open a champagne bottle or Prosecco or sparkling wine, anything with these foils and cages. Because um, I know there's a lot of different ways that people do it. Um, and this is just a fun sommelier way, I guess. Um, so first you can use your fingers or it's a little easier to use a wine key and you first are just going to cut right along the bottom where there's those little indents to remove this uh, foil right off the top. Kind of like regular wine, you know? And you're going to get that foil off the top. Perfect. Place that in your pocket. Now next, the most important thing about opening a bottle of champagne is that you keep your thumb on the cork at all times. So once you start releasing this cage, you, your thumb does not move off this position. Um, that's because a champagne bottle actually has more pressure inside than a car tire. So if for any reason uh, you remove your thumb and this thing decides to pop, it can literally go, I've seen it go 30 feet in the air. It can poke eyes out, it can do a lot of damage. So you, you just wanna always have safety first when opening a champagne bottle. So keeping your thumb here on the cork, you're gonna find that little uh, twisty thing on the cage. And you're gonna twist it six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the cage is loosened. You actually don't take the cage off by itself, you take it off with the cork. So now you're gonna grab around the whole tarp top of the cork and you're actually gonna start twisting the bottle. So you don't actually twist the cork. The bottle slowly moves in your hand. And I'm just like not always the strongest so it takes me a little bit, but you know. You start to feel the pressure coming up in the champagne bottle. And right when you feel it really pressing, you actually wanna get it to do a little hiss. So, there you are. And it just did have that nice, lovely, beautiful foam. Uh, you wanna avoid those big poppings because those actually can damage some of the bubbles in the wine. And now that I've opened it all nicely, you can see the little bubbles rising, or maybe not in video, but uh, now your wine is ready to serve. Um, yeah, so enjoy a little practicing of safely opening your champagne at home.